Uh, I know um, after the game, it was a weird situation for you coming in after the first play. You said you wanted to look at the film. What stood out to you um, in the past few days watching the film of your, your first you know, NFL um, you know, game action mm -hmm. in a regular season game? Yeah, th there was a, a lot, lots of learning. Um, definitely some things um, to be be proud about and um, excited about moving forward. Um, but then there's definitely some some plays out there that I wish I had back. Um, you know, but uh, that, that's why I, I really like the past, like you know, tw the 24 hours after the game. I really like um, that time to really digest. You know how I, f you know how I felt after the game, being able to to watch through the film, kind of see how I was playing, how our team was playing, kind of just get a feel for what I was feeling on the field and see if that aligned with what I saw on film. And, um, you know, definitely was a tough loss, but I'm really encouraged about uh, where we're at today and guys are having a great attitude and coming to work and um, just have an opportunity to get better each and every day like we always talk about here. And um, today's a great opportunity to do that. So how would you describe your emotions driving to the facility today knowing you're, you're about to make your first NFL yeah, I mean, it's exciting. I mean, it's a dream come true. Um, something that, you know, I've worked for my whole life. But, you know, th there's, a, there's a ton that goes into that. Um, and, um, you know, I, I didn't get here just, you know, by myself. And there's a lot of people that have contributed to help me get to where I am today. Um, my family, my, my past coaches, my current coaches, my current teammates, Teddy and Tua. Um, you know, there's... There's a handful of people that have helped me get to this spot, and I'm not the type of person to, to point the finger at me and I did it by myself and all that type of stuff. That's not the case at all. So um, I'm very grateful for this opportunity, and uh, I'm super excited to go to work today and, and have this opportunity in front of me. How Just to kind of follow. Having the expectation that you have a practice with the expectation of being a starter as opposed to getting thrown into the fire in the middle of the game. Yeah, I mean, it, it just it helps kind of knowing, um, you know, I'm a, I'm a very, you know, mental visualization person um, and like to put myself in situations before they happen and you know all those types of things and you know, just having a week of prep being able to you know most importantly just build a continuity of the offense um, with the with the snap count the cadences you know the um, protections timing of routes all that stuff is so important to build throughout the week and you know for me to have a, a week to, to build that uh, build confidence with the guys and build that trust and timing is, is going to be really really important. Outside of that, your week's going to be a lot different. People are going to be you have friends, family. Um, how do you how do you handle uh, all that attention? Is there anyone you lean on that gives you advice in these moments? Yeah, I mean, um, my dad, my dad is probably my go-to. Um, <clears throat> but uh, you know, I have I have I have a great circle around me of people that have supported me um, from day one um, as a person, more so than a football player and. You know, at times like this, that's what I really I lean on is is those people, um, and then just try to tune in, tune everything else out. You know, it's all all white noise and just trying to focus on um, you know just doing my job and and doing whatever I got to do to help the team win. And um, yes, that role has increased a little bit this week, but um, you know, I just try to keep things as you know strict to my routine that I've been doing, uh, and try not to change too much stuff up this week just because some circumstances changed. Internally, which, which players have come to you and said, we got your back, man? Man, I've had countless guys. I mean, too many to, to name. Um, there's There's been a, a great support system that I've had from, from this team and guys that are, you know, showing trust and belief in me. And um, for me being a rookie, walking in here and having that support, it just I think it just speaks volume about the type of guys we have in our locker room and the people we have in this organization uh, is, is tremendous. And... Um, you know, I've, I've said this quite a few times, but when you when you come to work every day with great people, um, it, it, it makes the work fun. And because, um, you know, the days are long, you're sacrificing a lot of time out of your day um, to be successful and to win. And, um, you know, having great people surrounding you during the process is, is big time. And I've been very fortunate being in this organization to be surrounded by great people. Scott, you mentioned some of the support and people who helped you get here. Can you take us through maybe the first person you called when McDaniel told you that and what that conversation was like? Yeah, I, I, I called my dad. Um, and, you know, he was emotional and excited for me. Um, he just told me that I earned it, you know, um, and he was proud of me, you know. and. Uh, my dad and I've been through a lot, um, and you know this has been my ultimate, my ultimate goal. And for I think him as a as a father being able to hear hear me, you know, express, you know, I've I've accomplished the goal of 
of starting a game in the NFL, it, it meant a lot to him. Um, and then I told my, my girlfriend and other people in my family that I'm really close with. Um, but, you know, I'm not, like I said earlier, I'm not a big, you know, I don't, uh, the, the attention on me, that's not the type of person I am. Um, and I just kept it very, very tight knitted with, with the people that I'm really close with and shared the news with them and just moved on and continued my routine of what I normally do on a Tuesday. Scott, what was Mike, it? Mike was out here earlier and he mentioned uh, getting with you and focusing a little bit on like 10 plays that you wish you had back. Um, when you looked at those, was there a common thread that you know you can overcome this week maybe? Yeah, I, I think just um, my feet not aligning with my eyes and um, you know, we, we preach here of uh, listening to your feet, you know, and if your feet are, if you're hitching too many times, it's time to get off that, that read and get to the next one. And, um, you know, there was times it felt like I was kind of just getting through my progression a little bit quick and um, missing, missing a guy or so. And, um, you know, and just forcing stuff that, you know, we really haven't talked about uh, in meetings or things that are part of the progression and just playing you know, outside of what the scheme is, is coached to do. And, you know, I think that that's just a sign of me pressing um, and, and trying to do too much. And um, that's one thing I'm focused on this week is just taking what the defense gives me and um, not forcing anything and just playing good complimentary football on offense. That's what we, we, we talk about all the time here and what, what uh, we want to do. Skyler, uh, what was it like for you Sunday going back to the sideline without Teddy, without Tua, no, I guess, teammates? in the quarterback room there to help show you, you know, what they're seeing on the field. Yeah, um, you know, it, it was a different feeling, um, you know, uh, obviously spending so much time with those guys and being on the side the sidelines with them um, so far this season, uh, not having them there, it, it's definitely different because we do talk about things on the sideline and, um, you know, Teddy points out things to me or vice versa, like we're all working together there. Um, you know, so I'm excited to have those guys back um, this week and having them around me. Um, like I said, they're a huge reason why I'm, I'm having this opportunity. Uh, they've they've helped me a lot, and um, I've you know whether if they've vocally said something something to me to teach me something or whatnot. Like I've I've they've taught me a ton through their actions and the way that they carry themselves, the way they prepare, and I'm very very grateful for those guys. Skyler, I know you said after the preseason that you felt like. Uh, you had shown or did enough to show that you belonged in this league after your first game. Um, what was your takeaway there? And, you know, the, the game, was it different in the regular season compared to maybe the preseason? Yeah, I mean, it, it's it's a lot different uh, than the preseason. Um, defense is more complex. There's a lot more going on. The offensive playbook is, is expanded further. Um, you know, so all the, all those things kind of go into one. Um, it, it is it's a different game um, than the preseason, and that's one thing that you know I felt um, at the beginning of the game. And you know, uh, what's encouraging for me is I do, you know, reflecting back on the game, there were moments where um, it was slowing down for me, and I was trusting what I was seeing, making a good throw, um, and making some plays for us. You know, so uh, there was some some positive things to come from that and to grow from. Skyler, to follow up on some of the support you've gotten from the team, what has uh, conversations been like specifically with the receivers on this team? Have Jalen or Tyreek uh, been in contact with you as you prepared? Yeah, um, you know, they, 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 Tyreek, Waddle, um, Mike, you know, Trent, River, I mean, everybody, everybody has, has shown support in me and, and supported me in this process and, and they are excited for me, you know, and I think that. That gives me, me me confidence, and um, you know I'm looking forward to having a week to to prepare with those guys and build that that timing and, and trust, and um, you know that that's going to be big time um, for me having a week of prep with those guys. I'm I'm excited for them, and um, they're great teammates. I'm you know very fortunate to to take the field with them.